Good morning. This is Iceman John Bailey. Wanted to do another video on the 2024 Matthews Lift 29.5. I went to the archery shop to take a look at this bow and I picked it up and I was amazed on the weight of this bow. Everybody don't know me but I like light bows. I like a light setup. I don't want it to be super heavy, especially when I'm in a tree stand. So this is a bonus for me. And the only thing I, only thing I hunt with, uh, only accessories I put on my bow, quite naturally you gotta have your sight, but it's just a stabilizer. And this is the Matthews uh, dampener stabilizer, six inch. But I was amazed on how lightweight this bow is. And I also was amazed on how the grid system is on this riser and I don't know what Matthews are going to do next but how in the world can you make a riser lighter than this because it seems like you can't cut any more metal out of this thing to actually get it to work but whatever bow they come out with next I'm sure they're going to actually uh, have an even lighter bow or even skinnier riser I'm not sure but like I said, I really, really like this bow. I just picked it up a couple of weeks ago, and I only shot it a couple of times to uh, at least just feel it. But uh, like I said, it's very lightweight. It's under four pounds. I think it's like 3.63 pounds, something like that. Uh, but I was like, wow. And to be a speed bow, it's extremely quiet to be a speed bow because I've had a bow back in the past and I'm not going to name it, but I had a bow back in the past was a speed bow, and it was extremely loud compared to this bow. I mean, it's 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 incredible on how quiet this bow is to be so fast. And I didn't chrono it, but it should be getting about 313 feet per second, maybe 315, because I'm shooting 414 grains uh, in my arrow. So I'm going back with... I'm going back with my Carbon Express uh, Maximum Red 350s and quite naturally I got to go with my Rage. Uh, got to go with my Rage Hyperdermic. Uh -oh. Got to go with my Rage Hyperdermic. Got to deal with, got to go with my no collars. Uh, two inch cut, two blade. These, uh, these are awesome. These two blade, uh, two inch cut. You just can't, you can't beat it. And I'm also using the um, also using the Carbon Express SS uh, lighted knocks, and I mean they're great. They're they're really great. I like the fact that you can follow that knock uh, after you release that arrow. And also um, I'm going back with my HHJ Tetra that I purchased from my brother Chris Ham uh, from HHJ uh, single pin, and I'm deal I'm going with the uh, just the regular old uh, I forget what this called. I think this is this uh ridge line. I think it's just a ridge line uh lighted quiver. I never get over excited about my quivers. I just get a decent quiver and that particular quiver has a green light on it where you can actually turn it on when you're going to your trip to your uh, stand. I kind of like that. I kind of like that feature because I either use my headlamp or I use the quiver, and I had that quiver pointed towards the ground, and it won't spook game. So I, I really like that. But getting back to this bow, uh, these X cams, they're they're a little aggressive at the end, and I'm 57 years old, so I don't like to deal with a whole lot of uh, aggressive cam pull anymore, but. Once you get over that hump, there is a hump. I'm going to draw this bow back and try it out. And I'm going to aim at my target before I blow a hole through my man cave here. Don't want to do that. It's really not that bad. Uh, it's not that bad. 
it's a it's a small hump that you actually it's a small hump that you actually have to get past but it's not as bad as I thought it would because I haven't harvested bark uh, since 2021 and I haven't uh, I haven't even been hunting since 2021 I just put my bow up for a couple of years and went back fishing is uh, I'm gonna tell you what happened on my on my this buck right here this one this buck right here I actually I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little video clip and show you show you the hunt but that particular buck here that's the last buck I've harvested in 2021 and after I hit the release I didn't get any buck feel buck fever nothing and I knew something was wrong so I was like you know what I normally get that feeling I get that that rush and that particular day nothing and I was like you know what I need to lay I need to I need to put my bow up and reevaluate on see what's going on so I put my bow up in 2021 I haven't shot it since 2021 so and then when I decided to pick up this lift it uh, I had to get that muscle memory back so I mean I'm, I'm getting it back I mean I never really lost it but it's just a little rusty and uh, uh, I need to um, get back in the game but I had to actually like I said reevaluate myself uh, uh, regroup and then when I seen a couple of shooters recently I decided to get another bow because I really wasn't even interested in, in getting a bow nor doing a review or anything and I was like okay something something's wrong but I mean I was okay with it because I thought my hunting career was over and I, was, I just said well it is what it is I'm just gonna move on and do something else so I decided to go back fishing again but now I'm back in the game um, I'm excited and like I said, this getting back to this uh, lift here, uh, it's it's rated at 348 feet per second, and uh, these mods, uh, they the draw weight on these mods is it's it's incredible how far they go from 21.5 to 31.5 uh, draw length. So I was like, wow. And then then you're talking about the poundage is 55 to 80 pounds, and then you have uh, this new top mounted axle system that's on this bow here everything is just on the top side but the only thing I'm a little bit concerned about even even with the other bow that I had the uh, phase 4 29 is these limbs are just to me I think they're a little too far in the parallel uh, 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 range I just think they're bent too far that's just my opinion um, I'm a little bit concerned about that and then you got like I said you got this uh, uh, you got this dampening system this phase dampening system in between these limbs here I was a little bit concerned about that on the phase four and now they went on and, and did it with the lift so apparently it's working and I do like this lift better than I like the phase four because for some reason I can shoot it better I mean, I don't know what it is, but every bow is different. And then uh, you're dealing with this uh, shot sense capability in the grip. I don't know why somebody would get that. Only, I guess, I think somebody would get that if they're just starting out uh, and they really don't know how to grip the bow consistently. Because normally when you've been bow hunting for a long time, you don't even need that capability. It was kind of cool to have, but... You don't need that capability if you've been bow hunting a long time because when I draw my bow back, I don't grip this. I don't. I don't. I don't squeeze this grip. I just let it set in the pocket of my hand, and then once it's at full draw, it's just gonna settle there every time. And and bow hunting, been bow hunting uh, over 35 years, so I don't need a whole lot of technology when it comes to knowing how to shoot because once you draw back it's, it becomes uh, second nature once you draw back hit that anchor point you don't even really be thinking about that uh, oh man am I squeezing my grip right am I holding my grip right we're well, not squeezing but am I holding my grip right but but like I said it's, it's, it's okay for for whoever decide they want to deal with that's that's okay um, but uh, like I said this this um, resistant phase dampening system this it's definitely different um, but I still like the wide limb pockets. 
because like I said, you when you have this bow at full draw, that string is not too close to your arm. So I, you don't, I don't really need an arm guard because on how I shoot my bow, it's like my arm is arced out. I, I guess I just developed that style over the years because I got tired of hitting my arm when I was younger and missing deer and uh, uh, being all over the target and just being frustrated and tearing my arm up. So I used to, I used to wear an arm guard back then. But the finish is still great. I love the finish. And like I said, I'm just a black bow man. I just love my black bows. I like the ambush green too, but I'm just a black bow man. I just love the black. And because it seems like when you're in the tree stand, that black seems to blend in better for me other than camouflage. But, um, and the finish isn't real bright where it would catch a deer's eye. And like I said, you can... You know, when I have it on my, on my bow sling, I have this bow in my bow sling when I'm uh, going to my stand and I'm actually um, uh, protecting these strings. But, but, what, but what I'm saying is when I, when I go to the stand and I get up in the stand, even when I put the bow on the ground, but when I get up in the stand and check the recheck the bow after I've been through briars, I mean, I don't go through real bad stuff, but sometimes you have to to get to wherever you got to go. But... I recheck my bow and it's the paint is still good. It, it may have a couple of scratches on it. It may have that, but the paint is still good. It's it's really rugged. Um, I like the finish. Um, I really like the finish on here and the strings. The, uh, you can't go wrong with the strings. I mean, I was gonna go with uh, ABB strings, premium strings that I always get, but I decided to keep the Matthew strings on this particular bow so far and and try it out but like I said uh, this is a really good setup and I just have to uh, get out there and sling some more arrows just to make sure I got her dialed in the way I want it but as of now I mean it's shooting really good and I really like the setup I really like uh, the overall I really like the overall finish uh, cams and uh, like I said, a dovetail. I got my my integrate um, MX2 Ultra Rest on here, but uh, I just have a bolt my bolt on uh, test rest. I don't have it in my dovetail setup. I just choose not to do that because I already had the sight uh, um, in hand, so I decided just to mount it on the side like the old traditional style. Uh, I'm going with a 316 P, just a standard loop, um, but that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not going to stay on here long uh, and keep on rambling because I'll talk over and over again about the same old stuff. But anyway, um, I don't have no issues at all with this bow because, like I said, it's, it's dialed in. I mean, it's dialed in, and it didn't take long to dial it in uh, from, from setting it up. I just changed, put the sight on here, and we set up the uh, ultra wrist, and all I've got to do is get out and shoot it now. But other than that... Matthews get a home run. They get a, a 10. I, I give them a 10. So, okay, um, I'm done. Um, okay, I'm going to leave you guys with this. If you don't know Christ as your Lord and Savior, I get to ask you to get to know Him. Because, especially in these days, uh, we've got this up and coming election, and it's really, really. Uh, a different kind of election and I'm not gonna go into any views or any issues or what I'm thinking what I'm thinking so uh, that, that's not important but we just need to pray um, for our country not only our country we need to pray for our world because Jesus spoke of these times and he spoke of spoke on what was to come and a lot of it's here so best thing for us to do is get to know him get saved and stay with him because he's the only one that's going to keep us in these times and it's really really bad out here a lot of people are struggling and it's just i'll tell you the bible is definitely speaking uh, right to this day especially when it comes to um, in the beginning of the book where it's in 
when Jesus was talking, so sorry, when the Bible was talking about Sodom and Gomorrah, and we definitely are back in Sodom and Gomorrah once more. But like I said, the enemy is running rampant, and he's doing all types of things through people. And it's sad that people are allowing him to do that because the main thing is they're not saved. Um, you have to get saved and stay with God to uh, be able to resist the devil. Because you can't resist the devil if you're not a Christian. So, but anyway, um, 2024, um, Matthew's lift, 29.5. Uh, this bow give me, this bow here I give it a thumbs up I really do so now um, I got to focus on getting in the woods this year and um, capitalize on my shooter a couple of shooters I'm looking at so let's let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, make it work make it happen Iceman signing out God bless take care